Hi, in case you don't know me, my name is Tom Bellardi, a.k.a. Botany Boy. Today's video features one of Japan's iconic flowering trees, the ume. In fact, this tree behind me is growing in my garden here in southern Japan. Many of Japan's famous plants are in fact not Japanese in origin, and this tree is not an exception. Like most of bamboo and the loquat, its origins go back to China. Even its English name, Japanese plum, is a misnomer since it is much closer to an apricot. Ume, properly known to science as Prunus mume, is a winter flowering tree that many Westerners first mistake as a cherry. It comes into flower as early as January. However, the peak season is late February, a full six weeks before most cherries come into flower. It's late April now, and as you can see, this tree is full of fruit. Last February, I took a trip to two famous ume viewing spots in the local area to see them in flower. Why don't you join me now on that journey and get a closer look at one of Japan's famous flowering trees. My trip started with a train ride into Fukuoka City to Maizuru Park, the site of the city's old castle ruins and a nice grove of ume trees. The park's ume collection is surrounded by old castle walls. Though small, this collection is well cared for. Japanese people are avid flower viewers despite being largely urban dwellers, and on this fine day many were out to see these lovely trees. The fact that ume are truly winter flowering no doubt adds to their attraction. The castle ruins retain an ancient flavor, and at their top you can get a nice view of one of Fukuoka's more signature skylines, Momochihama. Despite enjoying the trees and the views, the day was wearing on and I had to hustle down to get to a much larger and much more diverse collection of ume in a nearby town to the south. So it was back on the subway and another train ride 40 minutes to the small town of Dezaifu, the home of Tenmangu Shrine, famous for its ume collection and rich history. From the train station, one has to first traverse the busy approach road, called Sendo in Japanese, literally meaning visiting road. Dezaifu Tenmangu is always busy with tourists, both foreign and native. Students as well come here in droves to pray for good grades on their school exams. The reason for this is the main temple was built over the grave of Michizane Sugawara, a great scholar and politician of Japan's Heian period, over 1,000 years ago. After his death, he was deified as Tenjin, a god associated with literature and education. His life was marked by his exile from Kyoto, the political center of Japan, to the sleepy backwater of Dezaifu a ploy devised by his rivals. His story is far too long in detail to go into deeply. Let's just say that one of his great loves were ume trees, and that is one reason why this shrine has so many. It is said that up to 6,000 ume trees are planted on the shrine's extensive property, with 197 varieties represented. Those are impressive numbers, however, discerning the difference in varieties would be a near impossible task for anyone but an expert. Some basic types are easy to tell apart though, notably the pink double-flowered weeping ume called shidare ume in Japanese. Other basic types are the red flower trees known as kobai, and the white flower varieties collectively known as hakubai. These are general classifications, however, and if you take time to look carefully, you can see subtle variations. Larger and smaller flower varieties, single flower types, ones with green petals, and so on. The Sando leads to another broad walkway with a bridge spanning a large pond. This pond, when seen from above, is in the shape of the Japanese kanji character for heart. Such ponds are called Shinji Ike. The bridge is divided into three parts, two arches and a flat middle span representing the past, present, and future, respectively. The bridge is the means by which worshippers cross over to the main shrine area, both literally and metaphorically. In the main shrine area, people come to pray at the Hall of Worship, buy fortunes, and simply congregate and take pictures. The three-trunked white-flowered ume at the far back right is named Tobe ume, meaning flying ume. Legend has it that when Michizane was exiled from Kyoto, his beloved ume uprooted itself and flew to his aifu due to his intense yearning. All around the shrine, one sees paper fortunes tied to strings or small branches wooden plaques, and polished gourds hanging from strings. The paper fortunes, called omikuji, are bought for a small fee and predict good or bad luck, while the plaques and gourds contain wishes and prayers that are left for the gods to find and perhaps grant. 
While I could go on and on about Buddhist beliefs and the details of ume trees, instead I'll let the scenes that unfolded at the shrine that day speak for themselves. <laughs>